you've been on TikTok or Twitter lately, there's a chance you may have seen some viral facelift surgeries going around. But why exactly are they going viral? Well, let me just play two clips to show you. Yeah. Today, I'm going to be investigating TikTok's scariest surgeons, and I'm going to be answering some questions. Who is Dr. Kim? Why are there several accounts blowing up right now with the same facelift concept? Where are their offices located? How much cheaper is this than US prices? All of which will be answered in today's video. You want to know why? Because I actually got in contact with them and they offered to fly me out. So let's get started with the video. So let's go straight to the source. At Jaizu16 on TikTok, aka Dr. Kim. The page has 93 videos all covering facelift surgeries, usually on older folk. They've been blowing up for obvious reasons because these people kind of look really creepy. Actually, when I first saw these faces on Twitter, I scrolled past them because I was like, yeah, just some AI generated hoax. But uh, the more research I did, unfortunately, these are not AI generated. These are real surgeries. Speaking of TikToks, a very popular TikTok surgeon. Well, he's just a surgeon that just so happens to have a big TikTok account. I don't want to call him TikTok surgeon, but a surgeon with a big TikTok account at 8.3 million followers by the name of Dr. Yoon shared his thoughts. So let's Let's get to his thoughts. Plastic surgery coming out of Asia is so extreme that it actually makes me sad. I mean, how does somebody go from this to this? I mean, this is a ton of work that was done. I mean, she's a beautiful woman before and after, but why? And this whole thing is strange because are these truly the hands of a 69 year old woman? And here's another look at them. This is just strange. So what do you think is going on in this video? Are there filters? Is this not the same person? I'd love to hear your thoughts. People are commenting all over TikTok about this Dr. Kim's results. Is this taking it too far on a 46 year old? Or you do all these procedures on a beautiful 39 year old woman? Or approximately eight to 10 hours of surgery on a 76 year old woman? First of all, no criticism to any of these patients. If they want to undergo a cosmetic procedure and alter their appearance, then that's their business. But every surgeon has to make their decision on what they think is right. And for me, no, thank you. Like Dr. Yoon said in his video, there are some people as young as 39 years old getting these surgeries. Of course, according to the captions. I'll read you guys some of the captions and no, I'm not just cherry picking like the weirdest ones. You could go over there and 90% of them are just borderline weird. The 46 year old sister turned into a little girl after facial lift. If she walks down the street with her daughter, she is like a sister. My sister from Japan, not far from Wan Lee, came to see us for a facelift. My sister really changed from 50 years old to a little girl after her facelift. It is also a man's right to love beauty. My 58 year old brother has a very good facelift effect. Obviously, this isn't some person posting this that just so happens to have a lot of older siblings. <laughs> It's just bait to get people to trust them more. And as much as they get thousands of comments expressing how horrible these surgeries are, the sad reality is some older people comment that they want these surgeries. Ayuda, yo quiero por favor. Which just translates to, help, I want this please. Parece que tiene 20 años por Dios. ¿Cuánto cuesta un lift facial y cuello en Corea? Gracias. Follow me. So this one directly translates to, it looks like she's 20 years old. On God. <laughs> Literally means on God. How much is the face and neck lift in Korea? Thank you. And another comment that just says yo quiero, which means I want. I have no idea why the comments I found of people admitting they want the procedure done are all in Spanish, but that doesn't make the situation any less scarier. These are still older people, mostly women, being brainwashed into not only getting a facelift surgery, but also that they should go to Dr. Kim if they're looking to get a facelift surgery. Look, if any older people are watching this video, I know I'm only 21, but I promise you, you're beautiful the way you are. You don't need a face lift, especially one by Dr. Kim, to feel confident. And if you do get surgery, please do your research on it. Don't just see a random TikTok and say, this is it. This is going to be my life changing experience that I'll never be able to take back. This is very serious and permanent stuff. And I'm sure that that man that's being posted everywhere hates his life right now. Imagine the insecurity people already feel to get a facelift surgery, then it's botched and then it's posted everywhere on social media. Not only that, they have to go back home like that. Like imagine your parents get that surgery, they come back home, bro. You have to look at a, fa a new face for the rest of your life. It really is the fact that it's botched. Rich people get 
face surgeries all the time and they do look good like as much as we want to hate on them they do look good sometimes and yes i know there's going to be some comments talking about like well they're adults actions have consequences and yes they did make the decision to go to dr kim for some reason but there's still people with feelings and if there's one thing i'm not going to do in this video it's make fun of them who knows how their mental is right now <coughs> so i was clicking the hashtags on dr kim's posts and they led to more facelift surgeries, but by different accounts. And yes, those surgeries also had um, not so pleasant results. So now we have two more accounts to look into. Dr. Sam and Liang. I don't know how to pronounce that, but we'll just call this one Liang. Liang's bio translated to, and keep in mind it's broken English. In Shanghai, doctor of medicine, more than 30 years of plastic surgery experience, facial rejuvenation and facelift surgery, overall facial shaping, eye and nose plastic surgery, breast plastic surgery, body shaping sculpture, contour plastic surgery, plastic surgery and repair, etc. First of all, wow. If they're alluding to one doctor doing all of those surgeries, they are out of their minds. I know it's broken English, but I'm going to show you guys later in the video why I truly do think there's only one or three main doctors doing all of these surgeries. <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to know was, who the hell is Dr. Kim? I tried copy and pasting his name, but that led nowhere. Then I tried reverse image searching his profile picture, but that too led nowhere. Zero matches? What? You'd think if he was using a fake picture, the stock image website wherever he got it from was going to pop up, or wherever he stole the fake picture from. But zero matches is really weird. Under that Chinese text is another text, which reads VX. 1870006001. VX is also known as WeChat and is a Chinese multi purpose messaging, social media, and payment making app, which is why I posted on my Instagram story asking if someone could verify my WeChat account because their verification system involves someone that has already had a WeChat account for over six months and then they can let you in. So, uh, big thank you to everyone that was DMing me trying to verify my WeChat account, but you'll see later in the video why I didn't have to go with that. But if you guys do want to help with investigations for future videos, make sure to follow me on Instagram at my name is Tuv. I'd be asking for help there sometimes. So Dr. Kim and Liang both have WhatsApp links in their bios and they both lead to the same account? Jaizu-GJ. Jaizu, huh? The actual at for the Dr. Kim account? Hmm. Also, when you click a WhatsApp link, it sometimes gives you a pre-written sentence to send to the recipient. And Liang's link says, hi, Dr. He. And Kim's just says, hello. So moving forward, we'll call Liang Dr. He. And well, what did I do with the WhatsApp information? Well, I contacted Jaizu. Hello, can I reach Dr. Kim? I figured they would take forever to respond so in the meantime i was doing more research and i actually found a lead as to who's performing these surgeries so i found a yet another facelift account but it wasn't your average facelift account this one had a facebook link bingo and the user was deng jaizu aka dr l and his facebook cover picture already reveals a new character dr lee feng huh and me, which, yeah, seems to match up with Dr. L. And what do their shirts say? If you zoom in, they clearly say Dr. Li Feng. And where are they located? Well, according to that Facebook profile, Shanghai, China. Okay, wow, that's a lot of new information. My guess at that moment, and it kind of still is, was that Dr. Li Feng was the main face surgeon. He has a company in Shanghai, China with various assistants and employees and uses TikTok as a form of promotion in hopes to get new customers to message him through WhatsApp and then flying them out to get the surgery. Does that make sense? Oh. Looks like they responded on WhatsApp, and that was definitely not scripted. But, um, yeah, let's read exactly through our WhatsApp messages. Okay, so here we are on my phone on WhatsApp. I am going to be blurring the phone number, even though it's, like, easily accessible on TikTok. But I still don't want to be the one to put it out there. So there will be a bunch of blurred stuff. So sorry about that. Anyway, hello. Can I reach Dr. Kim? Hi. What can I do for you? I'd like more information about the facelifts. Is there a website I can visit? Because gjhose.com does not work. And in case you're wondering where I got gjhose.com, which I know is funny hose, <laughs> it's actually the website this account has on their WhatsApp account. So believe me, when I first saw that website, I was like, bingo, we got it. But uh, apparently a new website is constructing. In order to know you more and make plan for you, please send me your photos. And then uh, they send like a, a diagram of how they want me to send the photos for my surgery. And that's when I, freaked out because my whatsapp just says my actual name and it has a profile picture of me i can't send a picture of me because they're gonna know first of all i'm young and i probably won't need anything unless they can make something up which they probably could anyway 
I went out of my way to go to Google and look up old Asian lady just to, uh, you know, kind of play the part. Mojo, I'm explaining something really important. You're going to distract the audience. So I did end up finding an old, uh, older Asian lady selfie. I wanted to get a selfie rather than a model that just wouldn't make sense. So I got a selfie. Obvious reasons I'm going to be blurring her face out because this is, uh, I just got it from the internet. So I made up a lie. Oh, okay. The person that wants this is not me, but rather my wife. We'd like to know the prices. My goal was to get the prices and location and name of the person that does these surgeries. That's what I wanted. I suspect Dr. Kim is not real. But anyway, I send a picture. I say, this is her. Sir, I saw the photos you sent and your wife's facial proportions are great. The distance from the forehead to the brow is similar to the distance from the brow to the tip of the nose, and the distance from the nose tip to the chin. This gives her face a very three-dimensional appearance. The primary issues your wife is currently facing are due to aging, resulting in sagging of the face, leading to nasolabial folds, marionette lines, and neck wrinkles. These factors contribute to a tired appearance. According to your wife's facial condition, I would suggest to consider a mini facelift. The mini facelift can effectively improve tear-throughs, nasolabial folds, necklines, and corner of the mouth bags, making your wife appear five to eight years younger. The results of the surgery are expected to last for at least 10 years, which is already insane. You know, like it seemed like they buttered her up at the beginning. Well, she looks great, but she could improve these things. You know, I'm not going to say manipulation, but if you know, you're already an insecure old woman, they might, they might just get you. And obviously there's a lot of TikToks proving that they got a lot of people. I don't want to be the one to say they, they incorporate manipulation as a tactic, but they just might. And the thing that scared me, honestly, while doing this research, I was doing this research like at 2 AM, right? I was on my laptop and they send me image proof. Okay. And they think this is good. This is what they sent me. This one just looks like Facetune, honestly, but This is the one that really got me. This one. This is, um, let's just say unpleasant. <sighs> so, yeah, it, it's just scary that that this to them is like the, the solution. Of course, I had to pretend. Wow. How much will this cost us? We are in the United States. It would cost $5,100 in total. I will also arrange airport pickup and accommodation for you. Do you come to China with your wife? All right. Let's stop there. So first, the price, $5,100. Average facelift here in the US, and actually I looked at Los Angeles, around 8,000 minimum. Obviously, if it's anything less than 8,000, there's a chance people could fly out there and get a cheaper version of the same surgery, which obviously it's it's a big incentive. It's cheaper over here. Just buy your flight and, and make your way here, but... um. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. Are you in Shanghai, China? We would like to know who is doing the surgery if we do move forward with this procedure. Yes, I am in Shanghai, China. Dr. Li Fang would perform the procedure. Dr. Li Fang. What about Dr. Kim on TikTok? I thought that was the doctor. They did reply with text, but first they sent me a video. And who's that in the corner? That is Dr. Lee Fang. According to them, this is the guy that's doing the surgeries. They literally told me. That's what they told me. There is a potential face. You know, I'm only going to say allegedly. I'm not going to fully accuse him. But allegedly, this is the guy that did everything. That's doing all those botched surgeries. There is a face to that man. And this is him. This is Dr. Lee Fang. He honestly looks like a, like a nice guy, but uh, those uh, procedures aren't that nice. If you guys see a blur, that's because I'm blurring out the person. You know, I don't want to include any of these people like I've said before. Each doctor has different areas of expertise. For facelift, Dr. Lee is the best. And if you're interested in facial contouring procedures, Dr. Kim can perform them. Oh, okay. I will talk to my wife and we will discuss because this is a big topic. I may come back with more questions. Thank you. Yes. This is a big decision. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. So they just alluded to the fact that Dr. Kim is a real person along with Dr. Lee Fang. So this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I feel like there's one to three real surgeons and uh, everything else is just a TikTok promo. So again, I'm not going to accuse Dr. Kim of being a fake person, but I asked for him and they sent another one. Pretty weird. During this investigation, I found out obviously <laughs> that there are a lot more doctors, not just Dr. Kim or Dr. Lee Feng. So let's head on over to that section. Bruh. So yes, I found another facelift account. I know it's pretty funny. There's probably hundreds and uh, it's a lot I didn't include in this video. But this one was a little bit different because it had a different WhatsApp number and a working website. But first, let's check out their pinned post.
So already in this post, I don't know why they had to put the money counter at the beginning, but already in this post, you know, they're showing that um, they can make these women look like, they almost look like anime characters, you know, with the big eyes and just skinny face. And it looked like they did some something with the legs. I don't know what, but I personally just find this sad. I don't think you need to look like a fictional character. I think fictional characters are that fictional characters. I hope anyone watching this realize like you don't need surgeries. You are just fine the way you are. Again, if you do get a surgery, just do your research on it. Now let's head on to their website, drchenyong.com. It's broken English, so I'm gonna read it the way I fixed it. Chen Yang, male, is a president of Hangzhou Qingying Medical Cosmetology, a senior plastic surgery attending physician and a youth committee member of the Zhejiang Plastic Surgery Branch of the Chinese Medical Association. During his decades of plastic surgery and beauty work, President Chen Yang has served as director and dean of major first line brand plastic surgery and beauty hospitals such as Mai Lai, Huamei, and Yixing. I probably butcher those. Sorry about that. He has devoted himself to studying medical beauty techniques, absorbing and refining the essence of technology, and applying the principles of plastic surgery and beauty to the public. He organically combines science with the artistry of beauty aesthetics. He often exchanges plastic surgery techniques with famous domestic and international plastic surgery masters and competes with Japanese and Korean experts many times. He has won rave reviews from colleagues in the domestic and foreign plastic surgery and beauty academic circles and the majority of beauty lovers. So let's go back to a certain quote right there. He often exchanges plastic surgery techniques with famous domestic and international plastic surgery masters. What do they mean by exchanges? Again, this is broken English, but could this mean he's not qualified for some procedures he's doing? Well guys, that same sentence can be found in his about section, and guess what's under it? Facial surgery, laser surgery, breast augmentation, brow lift, eyelid defect repair, nose surgery, chin surgery, ear surgery, lip surgery, hair transplant, dimple shaping, hymen repair, vaginal tightening, and so much more. Either this man is the best surgeon of our timeline, or you're gonna end up with a botched surgery if you go to him. And I think we know which answer is the correct one. That's right, he's the best surgeon of all time. I'm just kidding, no. He does have some references on his website, but wait, where are all the TikToks that show the surgeries? Shouldn't they be on your reference page? I don't know, man. This is all just f***ing weird and seems extremely unsafe. So let's head on to the outro. So guys, that was it for this video. Uh, here's Mojo. He wants to say... He wants to say goodbye. Same, hey, come on. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's, he, oh, he got the mic. Oh, anyway, yeah, this whole situation is just, I would say, very, uh, scary. It's a very scary situation, and there was someone that commented, and they were like, well, they're only, this is bait because they're showing the facelift before it's healed. I tried looking up, uh, you know, Dr. Kim healed facelift, but they don't post any. You'd figure they want to, but nonetheless, it's, uh, it's a pretty scary situation, and they do look unpleasant. If any of Dr. Kim's victims want to, uh, get in contact with me, please, please do so. I'd love to interview you and, uh, see how the process went down, how legal it was, uh, you know, it's China, though, so it's different different laws but if any of dr kim's victims are watching this please get in contact with me if, if obviously if you want to and i would love to hear your story and platform that that's really it for this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like if you guys think i did a good job presenting this information make sure to subscribe as well i'm really liking this year so far so let's get to 2 million subscribers i don't want to take up too much of your precious time unless you want me to you should go binge watch my other videos but i'll see you guys next time i upload